All right, our final deluxe expansion, although not our final expansion, is the Forest of the Dead deluxe expansion. So let's get through this one. Again, you can see it's another um, slightly Far Eastern uh, theme here. Now, if I wasn't clear with the other two expansions, I will just point out that you cannot play the game with just these deluxe expansions. As much content as they do give you, uh, you do need either the original Shadows of, of Brimstone or the Forbidden Forest core game in order to play with any of these expansions. But once you have those, you can add as many of these expansions as you want in with your base game. So more figures here. Let's go ahead and look at what we got here. We got a, a Spectral Horde figures. Shadow Race. A Goryu, Decayed Trees, and Nur Anna. All right, let's take a look. Here are our Shadow Race here. I think these were our, our ghosts. So our, our dead trees, and it looks like our, our Goryu. Who doesn't need tree figures? So that must make this our Ona figure, our snake lady. Looks like you've got quite a few of them. And then of course, underneath the organizer, we're gonna have all of our cardboard, cards, and rule book. All right, so our rule book is gonna be very similar to the one we had last time. Again, it's gonna tell you right at the front here, everything that's new. Forest of the Dead is our new setting with new map tiles, new cards, new missions, enemies. Looks like the decayed trees are just terrain pieces. Um, we've got some different markers for different mechanics that were included. And then here are our new missions. Painting guide, optional rules, and so on. Here's our new enemy cards. Again, most of this should look familiar to you if you've been watching the video so far. Special abilities. Uh, if they're elite, they get a additional special ability, which changes. Our cards. We've got explanations of our new counters. So bleeding markers we've, we've seen in each expansion, but web markers are new. This is essentially an explanation of all the new mechanics. Then we've got some Growing dr uh, Dread cards. Here are encounters for the Forest of the Dead. Artifacts for Forest of the Dead. Encounters for Forbidden Fortress. Again, this is very similar to what we've seen in the last two boxes. Nothing really new mechanically. Um, obviously, there are new mechanics, but you know, in terms of what we've seen, it's all been pretty similar between these two boxes, except for the one where we had new heroes. 
Get a whole lot of more punch board, more map tiles, more terrain tiles, more just effect tiles, corruption now, poison. Looks like we've got Fury now. So that's everything you're going to get with the Forest of the Dead expansion. We've got some of uh, the mission packs neck coming up next. Those are the, the smaller expansions.